right, babies, it's that time again. Oh yeah. I think I need to shave. <laughs> We took a look at Isaiah 18. Uh, it's kind of a word against Ethiopia. And then it says that at some point Ethiopia will. Bring gifts to God at some point. So you don't really know. Does that mean there's restoration or. Are they going to be ignored or, or not received or whatever? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a nice little passage in there, though. It's kind of a... Uh, Isaiah has sort of a literary uh, quality to some of his writings. Something about... God saying he would find his rest as clear as the light of the sun and like the dew, like the morning dew. I don't know what kind of rest that is. <laughs> Uh, but it just sounds like maybe uh, that like in nature how It just unfolds in its own essence, like it can only be what it is. Like the dew can only be the dew and the sun can only be the sun. Therefore, God can only be God and he must find his rest in people who are receiving him as opposed to Ethiopia which was at the time evidently rejecting him I think it it means something like that <laughs> uh, a little difficult to follow um, uh, yeah so I'm just going to say that um, it's hard to interpret the prophetic books and to apply an easy solution to it does a disservice to God. So proceed with caution <laughs> you don't want to be getting on the wrong side of God now people will say well isn't he merciful why why would you be so worried about getting on the wrong side of God well <laughs> I'll tell you why because what he's after is like the verse says that he will find his rest and that rest is in us however if we're not living in a way that is suitable oh my, that is suitable for the creator to call his home then no he is going to make it known in 
no uncertain terms. What needs to change in order for it to be a place in which he can rest? Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm experiencing now. What are you experiencing? So, as a result, there's some pruning going on. And wouldn't you know, in Isaiah 18, there is, or there are allusions to the pruning of branches in order that would bear more fruit. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> and remember, Jesus brings attention to that as well. And uh, one of the Gospels, I can't remember which, I'm going to say it's probably the book of John. Um, so yeah, when God is cutting things out of our lives, our response needs to be thank you baby not oh no not that <laughs> yeah so I'm working on that I'm kind of vacillating between the two of them I'm kind of leaning on the oh no more than the other but I'm getting there and I'll tell you why I'm getting there Sun is directly in my eyes. I cannot see my turn. And if I raise my head, I can see. And I really can't see. Oh my gosh. There's oncoming traffic. And I can't see. <laughs> oh my lord. Um, wow. That was brutal. Oh my gosh. There's a little lesson right there. Oh my God. Wow. Wowie zowie. You know what? That was so bad. I think for the rest of the year, I'm not going to take this route anymore. That's how bad that was. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so let's weave that. <clears throat> let's weave that into this teaching. Oh, and look, here's a deer. <laughs> My goodness, all kinds of things waiting to happen. <laughs> Good girl. She jumped over some bushes. She did a nice job. She's. I slowed down for. Her. Wow. All right, so what are we going to make of all these interruptions? I'm being blinded by the sun. I can't see where I'm going. And then I almost destroy a living thing. So the message there is God is forever bringing us closer to himself to reflect more closely his attributes and his character so that he will give us the opportunity to change and make it plain to us. Just like I said, I'm not going to use this route for the rest of the year, for the next three and a half weeks, because I was just blinded and I don't want to be blinded. Just like in your life, you don't want to be blinded by your choices. So God is going to give you opportunities to see clearly. And that means something will have to change. And when you do that, then you can avoid what also might occur, like 
hitting a deer and destroying innocent lives because of your reckless behavior. Yeah, baby. Our reckless behavior is destructive, potentially seriously destructive. So God's got our best interests in mind. So it's best to stay in step and don't just fall on the thing people like to fall on. I'm covered by grace. I'm God all God sees me as righteous. Therefore, I don't need to change anything I'm doing. 